one of the micronutrients that we feel doesn't get talked about enough is manganese. However, a few years ago, there were some people out there who started saying, well, Roundup ties up all the manganese in the soil and in the plant. We have absolutely not found that to be true. We have tested very high rates of Roundup in the soil, in the plant, everything. No difference in manganese levels, no difference in yield. So we want to talk today about what's real and what's true about manganese, how much you should look for in the soil, and how you can fertilize with this micronutrient. Well, here's a couple things, Brian. As we talk to farmers literally all over the world every year, not very many are focused on their manganese levels. Most are focused on N, P, and K, and rightly so, we need those in the largest quantities, but we see a lot of soil tests that don't even have micronutrients like manganese on them. Well, if you don't even measure the amount of manganese that you've got in your soil, how in the world are you gonna manage it? And it's pretty easy to have a scapegoat like Roundup take all the blame for any shortage you may have in manganese. So measuring it is really important, but Here's the other problem. There are different kinds of tests to test for manganese, and they aren't all the same. They don't work the same in high pH and low pH soils. 